Hi there, it's my lady, and I'm here to bring you your December 7th through December 13th reading, weekly reading for all my water signs. How are you? Welcome back. So happy to have you back. So we're going to do something a little bit different. All right, we're going to do uh, something like um, relationship, singles, and cross watchers. All right, so if you're a man, this is your side. If you're a woman, this is your side. If you're cross-watching, you know, you're going to be looking at this side, all right? Depending on your gender here, all right? So basically, the card represents the gentleman whose fortune is being, for, uh, gentleman or the lady, whose fortune is being told, and all the other cards affected to a degree in accordance to their relative proximity. proximity. Okay? So, uh, let's start. So, on this side here, uh, the sun, one year, is happiness and popularity. Wow. And we're starting with cancer, by the way. All right. Now, cancer on this side here. Roses indicate beauty. All right. And um, it's also letting us know that you got to check your health. Okay. Okay. So, rugged health. So, just check your health. Make sure everything is in place. Or rather... <laughs> Um, you're healthy, you're exercising, you're taking care of your body. Uh, and not only, I mean, health isn't necessarily all body, it's also spiritually too. Okay? Now, as far as uh, some clarifiers here, it's letting us know the devil uh, card is here and the queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Okay? Looks like she's looking up on uh, deciding to climb this ladder right here. And and this is what I'm being drawn to. And why would you necessarily be, uh, uh, would be using a ladder to climb somewhere? It's basically because you can't reach something at the moment. All right. And this is what you're looking to do. Okay. But maybe it's letting you know, um, <laughs> Um, I was just, I was just thinking, just wait for you to get taller. Yeah, right. Okay. Now, what it's basically letting you know is maybe what you're trying to do here is a way over your head. Okay. On the male side here. All right. Because this devil here is signifying to me, um, a toxic situation. Okay. Something that you're basically just looking in on and you, I guess, do not want to accept that it's toxic for you. All right, that's what I'm understanding here. As far as the women's side here, all right, so the pig, whether it's near or far, is an omen of, uh, what is this, um, luck and a great abundance. Okay, all right, and then here, the, the money safe indicates riches. Okay, right, now, the two of swords here, is in, it's um, representing in this deck of cards some scissors. So this is basically letting you know that something that you need to cut, all right, you need to cut off in your uh, life here, whether it's or maybe it's this relationship that you have here. I just heard extra marital affair, okay? So if this is you, Cancer, then I would tell you maybe this is something that you need to cut, all right, because it's toxic, all right? And there's an emperor here, where the emperor is letting me know uh, some kind of like leadership role, more like um, I see someone very firm, very to uh, like let's say um, firm to their words. Um, I want to say like what he say goes, and it could be a woman too. Okay, but this is a, a, a man here, so maybe this is the this is the third party situation where there's a man here and he's letting you know, well, you better cut this out with this person here, okay, or or else I want to say okay because it is letting you know here that or I'm going to cut you off from the uh, money is what I just I, I'm understanding here looking at all this okay because this is what I'm showing here for the outcome all right uh cancer I'm showing here this is something that you can easily resolve all right it, it's what you want to do here all right but it will easily be resolved all right, that's what I have for Cancer. I hope you guys like this reading. Comments, please, if you like it. Like, share, and subscribe. All right, let's move on to Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio.
wonder what what you're not getting okay so all right so it's saying the tower surrounded by by the clouds denotes uh sickness okay now i want to tell you uh scorpio that um i would i need you to calm down um i feel an angry vibe maybe some things that are not working out in your favor um even though this is like more like a really if you're single if you're in a relationship or for cross watchers but you know um i would tell you to not uh, to look outside the box like you know think outside the box is what i just heard all right um okay i see here the um the mouse denotes um lost by theft okay now on her side here she's ready to get married the bride ensures for a single person okay the fulfillment of their highest aim when near okay so if you're the man and this is your significant other or someone you're looking to marry, she's looking forward to this here. Okay, this is what she wants. Okay. And um, when it's saying single person, it basically means that she's not cheating. She's It's her and this is what you're going to have and that's what it is. Okay. Because I do see here the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune here basically means something in from coming in from the past. Okay. Don't allow the past to interfere with what you have here okay if you're in a relationship all right if you're not in a relationship then it's telling you that it's the past that's trying to come back in here okay now let's see here okay so it does it this is uh showing me here that you're going to be changing residence possibly okay so you're moving all right so this right here on this side is letting this is a king of swords over here uh, the King of Swords is a air sign, um, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, and we're looking at this page of pentacles. Okay, this is basically just pointing out, this is a very much independent woman, okay, which I want to say is her. could be your significant other. It could be you, um, uh, uh, Scorpio, okay. Uh, you have your mindset, you're ready to go, you are ready, you know, to take on the world, is what I just heard, okay, which is fine, all right, and I, I, this is, I, I just see a movement here, okay, this is her, she's get ready to get married, she's ready to move, she's ready to take on this world, okay, but why is this king of swords here, why is this king of swords here? Okay, I see them being buddy-buddy, okay? And this is what I'm feeling right here, buddy-buddy with this King of Cups, all right? Which basically, King of Cups would be you, Scorpio, all right? So maybe this is what I'm feeling, okay? Um, Scorpio, you're probably hanging out too much. You're with your friends, your buddies, this, that, whatever, while uh, your significant other here is ready to take on the world, okay? Don't get left behind or rather stuck in the past hanging out with your buddies okay to leave this behind okay now on this side here all right um your one of pentacles are new beginnings okay ten of wands is basically um i see an empire in the background i see a castle in the background and it also uh stands for uh fiery energy where it is letting you know uh just uh uh Try not to argue so much. Try not to, you know, temper. Your very temperament is what I'm feeling, Scorpio, too. Just calm down. If you can't get to what you're trying, you know, get to your uh, significant other's uh, point of view or to an understanding the same day, tell her or tell him, uh, let me sleep on it and we'll talk while, when I'm in a better mood or you know, I guess I, I want to say maybe sometimes work or the day has uh, brought you down and you're not in the mood sometimes to talk things over. But once you've calmed down, you can see things a lot more clearly, clearly is what I just heard. 
okay that's what i'm feeling for you scorpio please like share and subscribe these videos see what's going on with pisces okay pisces All right, so Pisces, your male side, I am showing someone seeking betrayal. Okay. All right. I'm also showing here the coffin, okay, which I want, um, Although it is letting us know here with this uh, with this deck of cards, you know, the coffin on illness, loss of property, okay? So, I mean, I want to say more like stress, depression, okay? Or rather a loss of something, property, and inheritance, I just heard. So, I'm going to say it, okay? Now, this here is saying i mean is exactly what it's saying the trail okay on the male side here okay um why is that so let's clarify that why is this going on here what is this here for why okay so basically this is letting me know and this one wanted to flip over so we'll go ahead and take this one as well all right there is movement here there's movements, there's changes, okay? Whether you like it or not, Pisces, is what I'm hearing here, okay? There are some people that are getting involved here. I want to I want to say some people are getting in your business, okay? With your relationship, if you're in a relationship. And if you're not in a relationship and you're single or you're a cross-watcher, it's just a whole lot of people that are in your business, okay? Whether you want it or not, I mean, they're in there. They're, they're getting involved. They're speaking their mind and... Sometimes it's not what you want to hear, and sometimes it is, but uh, that's only because you invite them in, Pisces, is what I want to say here. On this side here, okay, I see a lot of people here, all right, and I'm also showing here where you have to change your attitude about something, okay, and what's going on here? This is showing me mountains that are ne nearby indicate, okay, um, basically a... a it's saying a mighty enemy, okay? So it's also letting me know here that friends that you think are your friends are not really your friends, Pisces, okay? And then here, flames on the, uh, this basically indicates um, good fortune, okay? Neutral Neutralizes the evil near um, lying unlucky cards, okay? So what is this saying here? This is basically letting you know, all right, um, huh. it's funny because I'm thinking now, you know, by you just taking, um, some fire where, um, okay, what do you need? You need water, all right? You're in water element, okay? So water is emotions, all right? And what does a fire need? It needs water to be put out. So what is it telling you to do? Pisces, um, it's basically telling you to be, uh, to be open, to, um, to speak what you're feeling is what I'm hearing here. Okay. Because if you do that, then there is calmness here and it's showing, it's giving, it's reassuring some calmness. All right. Or like, um, calm, uh, shores. All right. After the storm. There's calm waters, let's say. I mean, I think that's a saying that says that, but I'm just, just throwing it out there and how I'm feeling it, okay? And that's what I'm showing here for you, Pisces. And that's what I have for you, water signs. Bye-bye.